My personal question to you is why not you? You've got the brains, you can make decisions, you can study the plan, you can change your life, you can grow immensely in the next few years, you can make your dreams come true, you can build a financial wall around your family nothing can get through, you can become healthy, you can become powerful, why not? My personal question to you is why not you? You've got the brains, you can make decisions, you can study the plan, you can change your life, you can grow immensely in the next few years, you can make your dreams come true, you can build a financial wall around your family nothing can get through, you can become healthy, you can become powerful, why not you? Eventually you are going to have to jump. You cannot just exist in this life. You have got to try to live. If you're waking up thinking that it's got to be more to your life than it is, man, believe that it is. Believe in your heart of hearts that it is. But to get to that life, you're going to have to jump. Things happen in life, folks. You cannot change your life unless you change something. If you always do what you always did, you'll always get what you always got. No matter what it is. Many times you say to yourself, I got to lose weight, I got to lose weight. I'm too fat. And then you know what? During the day you eat, you eat at night, and the next day you get mad at yourself. Well, what do you want? What do you want? You got to change something. Nelson Mandela said, there is no passion to be found playing small and settling for a life that's less than the one you're capable of living. Well, where do you go to? You wake up on a morning, it's cold, it's mm -hmm. wet, it's dark, you've got no cartilage in your knee, mm -hmm got shitty shorts, whatever it is that's the issue today. Keep talking. I need you to keep talking about what you were just saying. It's warm on the couch. That's Your it. missus says stay in bed. That's it. It's comfy. That's it's cozy. It. You've it. got work later on. You had an argument last night. You're that's slightly hung over. God, I know every motherfucker ain't gonna do what I'm gonna do. The unfulfilled potential is the story of most people's lives. It is. It is. It, and it could have been the story of mine. And I tell a lot of people, people go, what's your biggest fear in life? And my biggest fear, honestly, was, let's say this, let's say, uh, I don't care if you believe in God or not, I don't care. So this, this is play a game with me. Let's say, let's say you're God. And we have a big fucking long line of people. And I made to heaven, 75 years old, I'm 300 pounds, I made to heaven, I worked for Ecolab my entire life, spraying for cockroaches, that's what I did. But I'm dead, I'm in heaven now. And you are at, you're, you're judging us all now. So we're in line, we're all sitting there in line. You have Adam Brown. He has a big board up, and you're talking to Adam Brown about his life. And you rip it down, and I'm next in line. David Goggins. I see my name, and I see all this shit, and God goes, hey, you say, read this, man. And I'm reading this list, and I'm seeing 182 pounds, Navy SEAL, Ranger School, motivational speaker, changing lives. Okay, man, pull up record, all this shit. And I'm like, that's not me, man. And God looks at me and says, that's who you were supposed to be. So imagine you're on your deathbed, and standing around your deathbed are the ghosts representing your unfulfilled potential. The ghost of the ideas you never acted on. The ghost of the talents you didn't use. And they're standing around your bed, angry, disappointed, and upset. They say, we, we came to you because you could have brought us to life, they say. And now we have to go to the grave together. So I ask you today, how many ghosts are going to be around your bed when your time comes? Do not live in your bubble. Put some more air in your bubble. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever want to be successful. My wife told me this great expression. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. It's time to stay focused. It's time to decide, fuck clubs, fuck partying, fuck trying to fit in and socialize, rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird. Why are you so antisocial? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you out there practicing in the hot sun when ain't nobody else out there? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you not clubbing? Like every time I text you and invite you to go do something fun and cool, you always studying because I'm trying to get it. I was in the military. We 
before the destructor led runs. Most of the time, we knew the starting end point. So on the way back, I start seeing people getting happy and shit because the end was near. But there were some asshole instructors that would hear the happiness and go right on past the end point. When that happened, everybody stopped talking. Heads would stop dropping. And I start taking fucking souls. At that time, I knew what happened in their minds. They were living off the hope factor. They hoped the instructors would stop running. They hoped the water was never cold. They hoped the weather was fucking good. I don't live off that hope shit. I wish the water was cold. I wish them motherfucking instructors keep on fucking running. I wish for fucking rain. When the ending is unknown and the distance is unknown, that's when you know who the fuck you are. Let me tell you something, homie. These women ain't going nowhere. These clubs, these parties, all this shit ain't going nowhere. The more weird you are is a reflection of how committed you are to focusing on your shit, molding and shaping and developing your ideas and your craft so that when it's time for you to make your rounds, you're going to fly. I found that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks. Then I'll tell you what changed my whole life when I finally discovered it's all risky. The minute you were born, it got risky. If you think trying is risky, wait till they hand you the bill for not trying. If you think investing is risky, wait till you get the tab for not investing. See, it's all risky. Getting married is risky. Having children is risky. Going into business is risky. Investing your money is risky. It's all risky. I'll tell you how risky life is. You're not gonna get out alive. <laughs> that's risky. The Englishman says, well, if that's the way it's gonna work out, let's give it a go. Right, that's what it's for. Give it a go. Somebody says, yeah, but I'm looking for safety and security. Fine, then huddle in a corner. We'll cover you with a sheet, bring you three meals a day. And we'll protect you, feed you, look after you, care for you. We won't let anything happen to you. And you'll probably live to be 100. The guy said, well, yeah, I'd live to be 100. But what a way to live. Right. What a way to live safe and secure. Don't ask for security. Ask for adventure. Better to live 30 years full of adventure than 100 years safe in the corner. And see, it's not important how long you live. What's important is how you live. The quote goes like this. One day or day one. One day or day one.